Point Claire from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Point Claire is a municipality in Quebec, Canada, and a suburb in Greater Montreal. Point Claire is located approximately 17 kilometers west of the downtown core on the island of Montreal, and is bordered to the north, west, and east by adjacent municipalities such as Dallard des Ormeaux, Kirkland, Beaconsfield, and Dorval. Being similar to other municipalities in the West Island of Montreal, English is the most commonly used language in Point Claire. Section 1. History The municipality was created 2 September 1854. Henry Whitmer Hopkins made several maps dated 1879 of the island of Montreal. On the island of Montreal and parishes of Bizard saint anne saint Genevieve, and Point Claire maps, the Point Claire area appears large relative to the size of the island of Montreal. The lower half of the West Island is named Point Claire, and a second smaller area also named Point Claire. On January 1, 2002, as part of the 2002-2006 Municipal Reorganization of Montreal, Point Claire was merged into the city of Montreal and became a borough. However, after a change of government and a 2004 referendum, it was reconstituted as an independent city on January 1, 2006. Section 2. Demographics. As of the census of 2001, there were 29,286 people 11,400 households, and 8,620 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,551.99 people per square kilometer. There were 11,656 housing units at an average density of 617.70 square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 88.06% white, 1.67% black Canadian, 0.21% aboriginal, 6.97% Asian Canadian, and 0.87% Latin American. Languages English 55.01% mother tongue, 67.79% home language, 68.49% official languages, French, 22.36% mother tongue, 19.36% home languages, 25.10% official languages, English and French, 1.61% mother tongue, 1.47% home language, 5.71% official languages. Non-official language only, 21% mother tongue, 10.59% home language. Combinations, 1.47% home language. The linguistic makeup of the city was English as the first language of 56.7% of the population, French the first 24.0%, 1.70% of the population learnt both English and French, and 17.6% first learnt other languages. 26.4% of the population can speak only English, 4% can speak only French, 69% can speak both English and French, and 0.6% cannot speak English nor French. Point Clare is the largest English-speaking city in the West Island per percentage rate and second in population behind neighboring city Dallard des Ormeaux. In the city, the population was spread out with 19.4% under the age of 15, 11.9% from 15 to 24, 27.3% from 25 to 44, 25.7% from 45 to 64, 
and 15.7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 40 years. For every 100 females, there were 90 males. For every 100 females age 15 and over, there were 86.3 males. There were 11,400 households out of which 34.3% had children living with them. 53.7% were married couples living together. 8.1% had a female lone parent as a householder, and 26.8% of all households were made up of individuals. The average married couple family size was 3.2. Christians made up 84% of the population, or 51.2% Catholic, 28.5% Protestant, 2.9% Orthodox, and 1.4% other Christian. Other religions in the city include 1.5% Muslim, 1% Jewish, 1.6% Eastern religions, and 0.1% other religions. 11.8% of the population claimed to have no religious affiliation. The median income for a household in the city was $61,133, and the median income for a family was $71,808. Males had an average income of $49,068 versus $29,125 for females. About 5.7% of the labor force was unemployed. The largest occupation categories were 22.3% employed in business, finance, and administration occupations, 19% sales and service occupations, and 17.3% in management occupations. Note. Percentages may not add up to 100% due to rounding of data samples. Section 3. Education. English language schooling is provided by the Lester B. Pearson School Board. Clearpoint, formerly Cedar Park Elementary, St. John Fisher Elementary, John Rennie High School, Lindsay Place High School, and St. Thomas High School. French language schooling is provided by the Marguerite Bourgeois School Board, École Primaire Marguerite Bourgeois, École Primaire Pointe Claire, École Primaire Saint Louis, École Secondaire Félix Leclerc, formerly École Secondaire Saint Thomas, and adjacent to Saint Thomas High School. Section four, Government. The current mayor of Pointe Claire is Bill McMurchy. There are eight city councillors. Robert Geller for District 1, Cedar Le Village. Paul Bissonnette for District 2, Lakeside. Jacques Labbé for District 3, Valois. Aldo Termiari for District 4, Cedar Park Heights. Edward Stuka for District 5, Lakeside Heights. Jean-Pierre Grenier for District 6, Seigneury, Dennis Smith for District 7, Northview, and Morris Trudeau for District 8, Oneida. Section 5. Transportation. Point Claire is served by three stations on the Agence Métropolitaine de Transports d'Orient-Rigaud line. Point Claire Station, located at Donaghany Avenue and Ashgrove Avenue, Valois Station located at Avenue de la Baie de Valois or Valois Bay and Donaghany Avenue, and Cedar Park Station located at Donaghany Avenue between Appleby Avenue and Aurora Avenue. The city is also served by several bus routes operated by Société de Transport de Montréal with a major terminal located at Fairview Point Clare. Section 6. Notable Natives Point Clare is strong in competitive swimming and diving, and has sent several Canadian athletes to the Summer Olympic Games. Thomas Hall, who trains at the Point Clare Canoe Kayak Club, won bronze in 1,000-meter C1 canoe race at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing. Alex Burroughs, born 1981, forward for the Vancouver Canucks. Benoit Brunet, born 1968, 
former player for the Montreal Canadiens and current RDS hockey color commentator for Canadiens games. José Corbet, born 1973, retired volleyball player. Donovan King, born 1972, theater artist, creator of Infringement Festival. L.P. Laduceur, born 1981, long snapper with the Dallas Cowboys. Patricia Noel, born 1970, Olympic freestyle swimmer for Canada. Autumn Phillips, born 3 May 1978, wife of Peter Phillips. Peter Phillips is 11th place in the line of succession of the House of Windsor. Sam Roberts, born 1974, rock musician. Leisha Rosneau, born 1972, novelist and poet. Greg Rusadetsky, tennis professional. Thomas Hall, canoeer, canoe C1 1,000-meter bronze medalist, 2008 Beijing Olympics. Leo Major, World War II hero of highest decoration in the Commonwealth. Stephen Tadros, born 1973, singer, musician, and songwriter. Tracy Little, born 1985, synchronized swimmer of Beijing 2008. Louis Leblanc, born 1991, Montreal Canadiens forward. Section 7. The Point Claire Yacht Club The Point Claire Yacht Club is an important historical establishment that has been a part of the Point Claire community for more than 130 years. Section 7.1. The Early Years the Point Claire Yacht Club was begun in 1879 when a group of boating enthusiasts came together and decided to form the Point Claire Boating Club. They were able to lease part of the old railway pier from the Grand Trunk Railway that was no longer being used to ship limestone. The first years of the club were productive ones that were mainly spent constructing their own clubhouse and establishing themselves in the area. By 1890, they were able to host their first annual regatta with its 39 members. In the beginning of the Point Claire Boating Club, the main focus was on paddling, not sailing. Some members of the boating club felt that sailing was being neglected. In 1892, they broke away from the Point Claire Boating Club to form their own club for sailing, the Corinthian Sailing Club. The Corinthian Club was interested in promoting sailing races to establish uniformed rules for the government of all races, and to encourage building and sailing yachts. As an overall interest in sailing increased within Point Clare, the sailing club eventually merged back with the Point Clare Boating Club, allowing their old clubhouse to become a storage area. Section 7.2 The War Years by 1913, the Point Claire Boating Club was large enough to host the Eastern Division Regatta of the Canadian Canoe Association for the first time. The fact that the boating club was able to reach such a size managed to help it survive through World War I. When the summer of 1914 arrived, the club suffered a substantial decrease in members due to the war. They were forced to abandon expansion plans that they had and simply focus on keeping the club open by holding fundraisers. When the end of war finally came, many returned to the club enthusiastically looking to improve the club and as well as community life. They were able to finally persuade the Grand Trunk Railway to sell them the east side of the pier and renamed themselves the Point Claire Yacht Club. The same threat of closure was faced in World War II by the club when many of the members went off to war or simply did not have the leisure to be a part of a yacht club any more, but the Point Claire Yacht Club prevailed once again. While other such boating clubs like the Valois Boating Club and the Lakeside Boating Club went under, the Point Claire Yacht Club was able to survive and undergo expansion after the war. The Point Claire Yacht Club has had to go through many trials over the years, but has always managed to come out on top. It has now established itself as an important landmark of Point Claire, as well as a vital part of the Point Claire community. Section 8. Places of Interest 
The last post-fun National Field of Honor is a National Historic Site of Canada and is located in Point Clare. Lakeshore General Hospital is the main hospital on the West Island. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.